Madness 80 here. I got the Build a Bear Wave, the unofficial Build a Bear Wave name. Uh, also unofficially dubbed the Iron Man Wave. Dorkside Toys ordered from them, got it from them. This is uh, probably the most excited I've been for a wave all year. Granted, it doesn't mean I wasn't excited prior with the other waves, but this one, Ursa Major, I really, really was hoping the first Black Widow wave that came out prior to the pandemic was the Ursa Major uh, build the figure wave. And uh, nope, here we go. Ursa Major's here. Uh, another figure I never thought we would get in Marvel Legends form. But taking a look at these seven figures, side art, looking fantastic. Iron Man, Dark Star, Vault Guardsman, Stealth Iron Man, Riri Williams, Hologram Iron Man, and Ultron. Uh, builder figures, or excuse me, army builders of this wave would be uh, the Vault Guardsman, if you want, and obviously Ultron, you know. So have at it. They're available on Amazon. Do what you got to do. Let's take a look at these dudes. All right, first up is Hologram Iron Man. Admittedly, not my favorite or, you know, one I was most excited about in the wave. Uh, if you know which armor this is based on, please educate me in the comments because I'm just not one of those guys who can look at an Iron Man armor and know exactly what type of armor it is. I just don't care, but I, I want to learn, so go ahead and teach me in the comments. Hologram Iron Man, ever the innovator, Tony Stark takes flight in holographic form, a computer-generated avatar, an enduring force of good. Uh, yeah, this looks cool, man. Um, my only worry is uh, clear translucent plastic uh, tends to age poorly so we'll see uh how this holds up in the next few years this hologram iron man does come with the ursa major head which we'll see at the end of the video man this looks so good ridiculous uh i have a beer in the shot i just noticed that may as well share with you fruit monster uh that's that's what they called my friend in high school so iron man hologram iron man looking awesome let's get some light on him this is good fun this will be a nice display if you picked up those uh disney toy box hall of armors you can have this off on the side with the light coming out from under it looking awesome and you can see all his working parts all his joints and all that stuff underneath the white lines i mean it's you know it's what could they have done to really make this look like a hologram um star wars does something similar with their you know, at least used to in the three and three quarter waves, come out with holographic versions of Jedi's or Sith and stuff like that. And again, those were kind of lame, if you ask me. He does come with two fisted hands and blast, which we've seen before, uh, this time in blue. Crooked and warped because of the packaging, but yeah, this is on a hinge and there are holes plug right in into the hands you've seen this all before with a million iron mans so we'll just take a look at the details and move on to more exciting figures in this wave head sculpt looks nice again shining the light through this or coming up in the bottom it's really gonna just you know make this figure pop on your shelf if you're fancy and you you know want to put all that work into lighting this one figure but you could put him next to your Halo Cortana figure, your, uh, i trying to think of other blue translucent figures, the head from the other Iron Man, which I wish I had on hand, and then we could have put the Tony Stark AI head, though, but I think it is a different blue. I think that blue is lighter. Um, someone else may do that, or I may do that on Instagram. But it looks cool. You know, good display piece. Not bad. Stealth Iron Man. Again, another Iron Man I, you know, uh, not too excited about. We've gotten other stealth versions of, like, the Extremist Armor and whatnot. Mezco has done a version of this Iron Man as well in stealth, which I didn't pick up. I picked up the classic red and, and gold and then the black and gold LA Comic Con exclusive. But here he is, Marvel Legends, uh, reuse 100% of the 80th anniversary Iron Man. I did want to point out, look at this weird white residue that he had in the package so you see me wiping it off there similar to what was on vision's cape uh mcu disney plus vision i don't know what it is it's gone now and it just feels like a powder like i had baby powder in my hand or something like that here's some more it's weird i don't know what it is so uh buns of steel iron man though so we've seen this before like i mentioned and uh, it looks good these blues look good We'll go ahead and take a look at accessories really quick. 
So he does come with the Tony Stark head again. We've gotten this Iron Man, or at least pieces of it a couple times with War Machine, Iron Man 2099, Silver Centurion Iron Man, and whatnot, but we get uh, to revisit the Tony Stark head. Uh, we only get these two blasts this time, which we just saw in blue, but now we're seeing them in this uh, orange-red color. And the hands here, which aren't hinged, they're just kind of sculpted. The peg's kind of sculpted that way, so there you go, but with the hole inside. Easy peasy. I believe the 80th anniversary came with these in yellow and then a blast. Like a, a, I don't know what I'm trying to say. You know, that type of effect. Firework type of effect. A new Tony Stark head, old Tony Stark head. I think the older one looks a little better, at least on mine. I think people go back and forth. The eyes are definitely brighter and I think more clear on the older figure. Um... Mustache and eyebrows on this one look the way Hasbro used to paint their Black Series figure before the face print. So kind of just like this blob or this black caterpillar resting on his lips or his eyebrows, although not as bad. So, but I think I prefer this head more. I prefer this skin tone maybe more. But, you know, it's cool. Two new Tony Stark heads. Again, back to the stealth Iron Man. Looking good. Powder, weird powder aside. I think there's some more on his shoulder. So, adjusting the light. Nice red in the mouth slot and the eye slot. Red reactor there. Nice shine there on the torso and on the crotch piece. Again, buns is still Iron Man. Nothing different there. These blues on the legs, um, at least on the art there in the back, are a little light in color. It would have been nice to see that on this as well. Same with the face mask and the arms. And legs looking good. Let's get that new Tony Stark head on here. I think there's some more of that weird powder residue on this. Strange. People are smuggling their drugs with Marvel Legends. Oh, wait, is this the new one? No. Yeah. Cool. Stealth suit. I don't think we've seen anything like this in the MCU, and we won't now, but... Or maybe we will with Riri or Rhodey. But that kid in Iron Man 3 did recommend he build a stealth suit, so. Looks cool. Dimple chin. All right. We have seen this before, uh, 80th anniversary again. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to go through this one's articulation. I've done War Machine. I've done all that. We, I mean, we can move on and get to the more anticipated figures. He does come with the left foot for Ursa Major. And we'll go from there. All right, really quick, just to compare him, as I and everybody else has mentioned, complete reuse of 80th anniversary Iron Man. These are completely off center, looking cool. The only other stealth figure I have, I never picked up the Toy Biz stealth versions of these, uh, is this, dated extremist armor iron man which was uh, a time when hasbro was doing what do you call those they're not running changes or chases i don't know but that was a pain and i hope they never do that again but yeah stealth stealth armor i don't know just not my thing but this is a fantastic iron man and uh, i see no reason why they can't keep using pieces of it to make better and new iron man for your hall of armor vault guardsman uh, I'm sure there's reuse. I couldn't tell you. You tell me. Educate me in the comments. But the Vault Guardsman with armor equipped with repulsor rays, high carbon steel alloy mesh, and radiation shielding. Vault Guardsman sets his sights on complete destruction. On the complete destruction of Iron Man. Excuse me. Text is small and I'm old, so hard to see. This dude is fantastic. This is a... Um, up to you, man. You can army build this guy or... I know the Vault Guardsmen had, there was different Vault Guardsmen, and they were like the Vault Guardsmen, but, you know, I may get a couple, maybe just one more, but it looks cool. What's interesting here is this, you can see this, and I think it might be like Blizzard's face or somebody, or Eel, something like that, let me know in the comments. I think it's Blizzard, a figure we haven't seen in a while, oh man, I took a swig of beer, 
and I'm burping, I apologize. He does come with two fisted hands, looking fantastic. Hey everyone, Future Man is here taking a quick relook. I left this gun in the package, so this dude does come with this weird looking laser with uh, no trigger finger on any of the hands to hold it, so he's just kind of holding the gun there. It's all right. They're both on a, what is this? Horizontal hinge. Let's get these on. Easy, going nicely. Narrating what I do. Nice different greens, man. The, the swirls on the plastic are very noticeable here on the boots. For the rest of the figure, uh, you know, you, uh, there's some there on the shin. Looking good, though. I, I like this piece. This is good. I mean, look at the box art there. The way the greens are segmented into different colors. I think it looks fantastic here, and it's executed nicely. Although the greens on the different greens, the stripes on the biceps are a little harder to see and maybe should have been a darker color like the gloves there. But yeah, I mean, you can argue even these greens could be kind of a more lime green to match the art, but again, you know, Hasbro's doing what they can, and I like what was executed here. Uh, this is clever, and it sits on nicely. Some of you are gonna rip it off, I know, you guys are crazy. So, looks cool, let's get a look at his eyes. Awesome. Up close, this does look kinda weird now that I'm like this close to it, but like, if I look on the other side, not through the lens, it does look uh, a little better. Nice shines, man. Not a shiny armor in this wave. Fantastic. Looking good. Look at that. Losing focus. Let's see if I can get this light. Cool. Oh, that's bright. Sorry. Awesome, dude. So, ball is on a hinge. So we're going to get some rotation. You can see it's a pretty deep ball. Deep hole, rather. Not much tilt, so maybe not as deep as I thought. But you can have them looking down pretty good. Look up very good. This is a flying character, so. Ball joint out to there. You do get a bicep cut. You do get double jointed elbows. And it's not a pinless figure, so this is some reuse from something else. Again, both sets of hands are on a vertical hinge. No, not a sword wielding, not a gun wielding type of dude. Classic ab crunch there, okay back, which will aid you in flight poses. Nice hips, sorry, waist rotation there. Legs out that far forward, that far back, that far. Double jointed knees, again, no pins, uh, no pinless tech there. Boot cut, as you can see, it does break the sculpt a bit though. Forward, up, and your pivot. Awesome, awesome. Again, I'm gonna get one more, maybe two more, and he'll look awesome the collection. I just don't have, or I've lost that comic knowledge I used to have, man. I can only know so much. I'm getting older too, so I'm forgetting a lot. This is cool. Uh, very happy with this figure. Let's get an Iron Man in here just to show some comparisons. The legs actually might be from the 80th anniversary. So, what do you think? I think so, just the green plastics, just much more swirly. Maybe not, no, there's no seam down the leg here like this Iron Man has a seam. So you can see that. The hips seem the same. I could be wrong, it could be the same thing, it could not, I don't know. Shins here are definitely not. Arms up top, maybe, but definitely not the forearm down. Great reuse, great looking figure. Let me stand this dude up. He does come with, and he's crooked standing up, I understand it. Uh, what is this, the left arm or paw of Ursa Major. So you got Iron Man here. Ball Guardsman there. And in focus there. Looking fantastic together. This is cool, man. Great figure. Let's move on.
Real quick, before checking out Riri Williams, I'd like to point out Sean ruined his diorama with the beer place there. Congratulations, Sean. Now, taking a look at Riri... Blah, Ironheart, Riri Williams. A certified super genius, Riri Williams turns a dorm project into a high-tech, high-flying suit of armor and becomes a force for good. Uh, Ironheart, Disney Plus show, probably next year. Awesome. This figure is gorgeous, man. Holy cow. I mean... The, the paint, uh, the head sculpt of the Unmasked Riri Williams, the, the effects, we got some new effects, smoke effects here, which I'll show you different ways you could play with that. You know, your imagination's the only limit here, folks. Jokes aside, she does come with two repulsor blasts. Again, the Unmasked head and then some uh, awesome blast hands. It's so weird to be dealing with an Iron Man armor that's so feminine and small compared to you know, Tony. So real quick, bring back out the 80th Iron Man just to show, God, his hand's stupid. How much bigger? And it is a college girl. Uh, the Invincible Iron Man armor, which looks like it was inspired from that. Still bigger, still taller, uh, not as bulky as the 80th, but this is fantastic. This is a great Iron Man, if you could track that down uh, for your whole armor. But dude, seriously, look at this figure mask is a little weird to me that's just the the design of the figure i've never uh cared for it too much but you know it's okay this looks like it's a separate piece and it wants to come off uh that can't be done but look at that blues just a bright vibrant red all over this very feminine sculpt it's so awesome curves gold fantastic and mine came with some blue scuffage there. It also came with some weird gray thing there that just kind of fell off. Uh, a lot of sloppiness, at least, in, you know, for me in this wave. We're going to pull this off. It comes off easily. Put the Riri Williams head on. Looking good. I got the shadow there from her little curly hair. The sculpt design, it's awesome. Very reminiscent of uh, Movie Domino. So, I mean, they, they really sculpt... Uh, the, the, this type of hair just so well man looking good young college girl fantastic so these effects let's get the hands all right hands swapped so she has this cool soft at the tip Repul what is it repulsor blast is that the word i'm looking for no you don't want to focus good lord focus there we go Looking good. So you can have this obviously in her hands. That's obviously what the hole is for. Looks awesome, right? But then you get the smoke effect. And you can see it's like a trail. So this would have been cool, like, man, with War Machine or something like that. You know, with Missile Trail, they did, they kind of explored with that. So you can have that cool looking blast. But then Sean and I were playing around with this as well. Maybe we'll do it with this leg. And kind of have the smoke trail going up the leg as if she's being blasted or blasting off. So get this down. Just, seriously, just I feel like I'm playing with this, which is cool. If when a toy makes you feel like you're playing with it, I think it's pretty exciting. So you can have a cool smoke trail like that i mean you could turn it the other way it's just like the blast on the hands that looks better have that and it's awesome it's awesome man it's nice to see an iron man like character with some new effects Awesome. Taking a closer look again at Riri. Riri? Good. What? Well, God, I can't say that. Uh, eyebrows look a little thick, but whatever. You know, that face, it's smooth. It's nice. Lips are sculpted nicely, painted nicely. Hair is sculpted nicely, painted nicely. Uh, yeah, it looks fantastic. It's on a modern, I keep calling it modern, but it's on a dumbbell with no neck movement, obviously, here. It's usually the combo we see now. But these pegs we find mostly on MCU figures as of late. 
arms do go out to here. Obviously, you can turn it around, get that going. Uh, you do get a bicep cut. You do get double jointed elbows. Holy cow. And they're nuts. Look at that. Shy hello. These hands have no hinge. If I get a fisted hand back on, we do get the horizontal. So these are fixed, similar to the 80th anniversary and stealth Iron Man of this wave. It's crazy back for flight. Let me get the other helmeted head on real quick. So you would have that pinless joints. And again, the curves, the how you're posing this, like the curves help, man. There's this feminine sculpt uh, or build of this armor. Just, it's a lot of character in this figure. Even the back is nice. It's like, you know, most of them are plain, but like her silhouette that this figure is making is fantastic. Uh, no hip, I mean, yeah, no waist cut. The legs do go out to here, forward, back. The plastic feels nice too. I don't feel like any of this is gonna get loose. Thigh cut, double jointed knees again, pinless, pinless, pinless. And forward this far. And nice, ridiculous rocker, holy cow. This figure is a winner and is a must buy. Uh, if you're cherry picking this wave, um, I give you the side eye because buy the whole wave, but this is a figure that you need to buy. Again, bringing Iron Man back out here just to show you how much bigger he is. Huge. And again, revisiting the Invincible Iron Man. Great, I mean, it's a shorter college woman, looking fantastic. Uh, I do have Ironmonger here. I don't know why I brought Ironmonger with me, but look at that. Fantastic, fantastic, fantastic. Let's move on. And just to quickly admire the sculpting uh, detail here. Uh, if you're that guy, you can go ahead and wash these. The black might make these pop more. But man, these smoke effects are fire, dude. So good. All right, before jumping into uh, Dark Star, I did forget to mention Riri comes with uh, the right leg of Ursa Major. And as you can see, Dark Star here comes with the torso for Ursa Major, which is split in two. And holy cow, you get a lot with this figure. Not only do you get these build a figure pieces, you do get two extra sets of hands. In package, she does come with the hands we've seen for literally every Marvel Legend female figure, whether they're a magic user or not. Mary Jane has had these hands, so. I think even Gwen Stacy recently. But Darkstar, focusing back on Darkstar. Drafted as a Soviet operative on a nefarious mission, Lan oh boy, Lania Petrovna eventually broke free from the system and began to use her super secret skills to her own ends. This figure, holy cow. All right, let me, I don't know what I'm doing with these pieces here, but. Wow, the paint on her face is fantastic. The paint on her hair, the sculpt in her hair, everything is fantastic. This is a female body we've seen before for a lot of the adult Marvel Legend women. But man, look at the eyes, look at the face. There is a, a, a paint, you know, what is that? A, a mat, I think Sean called it, over her face and it's clean, you know. You couldn't get this from molded plastic. Her eyes are painted cleanly. Her eyebrows, blonde on, on fair skin like that, uh, still show very nicely. The lips, holy cow. This headband, fantastic, man. As for the rest of the figure, again, it's something we've seen, but, you know, we got clean lines on the Dark Star logo there on her chest. Her boots, the lines there. Very nice. Single-jointed elbow. You know, seeing the double-jointed on, on Riri uh, got me a little happy there, but, you know, this is a reused uh, body. But, man, I cannot get... Look at that. That is a beautiful sculpt, beautiful paint job. The whole, everything together works really well for this figure. She does come with two fisted hands. You can see here. And she does come with gripping hands. However, she doesn't come with any accessories to use the gripping hand. So I'd imagine, I mean, she's using a fisted hand there on her package, you can see. But this figure is, wow. I, I'm blown away by how good this head sculpt is. Amazing. Uh, she does sit, this is an older body, so she does sit on hinge and ball. That's a huge ball. 
looking good. Let's get this back on. Head articulation is obviously hindered by her hair. You can see it's even draping over her shoulder there. But you do get some tilt, but it will look weird given how her the hair is supposed to be resting on her shoulder there. Uh, man. Up to here. Single jointed elbow. And again, these hands and all the hands there are uh, vertical hinges, so... I don't know much about this character, who's she fighting on her package there, but uh, I, I highly recommend you pick this figure up, especially if you're building uh, up the team that she's in. Name will come to me right now. Winter Guard, that's the name. So, uh, fantastic. We pretty much, I think we completed a team with this figure once we build Ursa Major. Uh, she looks fantastic. Wow. Uh, did I do? Yeah, so we're out to here. Double jointed knees, no boot cut, forward this far, back this far. Car with a, oh boy. I have the door open again, cause it's warm, so. Now that that dude's passed, yeah, that's it, and thigh cut. This is a fantastic figure, holy cow. Even though it's a lot of reuse, it's not new like Riri, I think the head sculpt just pushed this over above and beyond. Real quick, and we'll do a whole team, uh, you know, photo, whatever, um, with Ursa Major built in. But, you know, I think we need an updated Red Guardian with the darker suit and the more triangular shield. But these look fantastic. Awesome. Let's move on. Here is Ultron, a very anticipated figure. And God, is it long overdue, man. You would think such a major character with a deep history with the Avengers would have given been given the Marvel Legends treatment much sooner from Hasbro. Uh, I think the last one we got, I can't even, I can't, I don't even remember. Did Toy Biz do one? I think it did, and it looked weird. Wasn't as cool. Wasn't this classic Kirby look or anything like that. So Ultron, robot, maniacal genius, science experiments gone wrong. Ultron is the supreme weapon of mass destruction and a mortal threat to the Avengers and all humankind. I wish I had a Hank Pym helmet. Just to put there this looks fantastic he does come with the right arm for ursa major he does come with some extra hands uh two fisted hands by the looks of it here and one grip hand for the other hand uh this grip hand does match the open hand so this open hand i'm gonna get a close-up view of this uh there isn't a left or sorry there isn't a right-handed version of this open hand but it looks awesome such a clean design so good i think the last ultron that looked like this was um diamond selects ultron very good very big fantastic and again clean like this such a clean sculpt not a lot of detail but it doesn't need the detail you know it speaks for itself the final accessory it does come with is the kirby crackle which is you know shove it in the mouth there and here's a kirby crackle looking fantastic it just kind of goes into his mouth uh your choice you know you can have this on your ultron prime and every other ultron you buy could just be a, a drone but this is fantastic, man. Look at the sculpt. The spikes there on the shoulders are his lats. What would be his lats? The paint on his eyes, little nose, nostril things. Dents and rivets there on the head. Is this a soft plastic? This is a soft plastic there. Uh, I wish I had the retro vision. I do have it. I just don't have the head that came with it to see if they reused it for this. Hopefully somebody else that you watch, you know, I watch multiple people. So do the same figure over and over. Uh, hopefully somebody else will cover that. Nice clean lines into the arm. Fantastic. I love the simplicity of this sculpt. It just nails it. Doesn't need a lot of detail. And they chose the right type of plastic. It gives, you know, it's not too shiny. It's not, it's just, it's perfect. This figure is uh, perfect to me. And it is a perfect representation of Ultron that we needed. Um, let me just swap hands real quick just to show. He does come with the grip hand in package. Get a fisted hand here. Easy. All horizontal hinges, same with this unique grip hand. So let's get this jaw soft, big ball hinge. Again, the jaw kind of bent down. If you want to see the inside, fantastic. Pops on nice and easy. Some tilt, not bad. Good up. You want your ultra flying at you that way. Fantastic down, looking at a tiny hang pin. That's kind of one of my, I wish they would have built the Ant-Man character up 
more, or at least the movies, and Ultron should have been a creation of Hank Pym and not Tony Stark, but whatever. It's all right. Let me see how high we can get. These are on. So these can rotate either with the ball or they can rotate individually. You can see they're going all the way around. We've seen that before with some Black Series figures, but we do get bicep, double jointed elbows, and again, depending on which hand, they're all the horizontal hinge. Look at this tilt on this torso is ridiculous. Awesome. Awesome. So good. Nice waist cut. Legs out to there. Out to there. And the sculpted line is just, it just, look at that. You wouldn't even know. Thigh cut is hidden in there because they sculpted, they started to sculpt the line there and there. And where it connects, it just blends beautifully. Double jointed knees. Pinless, pinless, pinless everywhere. So this is a boot cut. See, I thought so with these sculpts. I mean, you can't tell. They sculpted it so well. Just have to really explore forward, back, rocker, all that stuff. Uh, this figure is a winner, man. Holy cow. Fantastic. I ordered myself a couple more of these. Uh, I'm excited. I talked my smack about having a Hank Pym here, and I didn't even bring my Hank Pym figure. And I found it in the bin while digging for Red Guardian. But here he is next to Iron Man. And he's awesome. Get him. This is a Pan's Labyrinth NECA chair. So, fantastic, fantastic. Final figure. Let's go. All right, final package figure in this way. Modular Iron Man does not come with a builder figure piece, so he is two per case if you bought a case. I bought a Wave, so I didn't get a double. Uh, this figure is fantastic, man. A lot of us, a lot of dudes my age grew up, and this was our Iron Man. This was our Iron Man in Marvel vs. Capcom. This is our, our, this was just Iron Man, man. This is fantastic. I'm so stoked to have this figure in hand. Nice reds, nice golds. Um, as you can see there in the back uh, of the box art, uh, or the box art in the back, uh, he is a yellow, so we most definitely will see this figure again in yellow. Uh, but I'm not complaining, man. I'm happy to have this in hand. Uh, you know what would be dope? If we got a Marvel vs. Capcom version with the yellow and he came with his big uh, cannon. That would be fantastic. Somebody should 3D print those right now and start selling them immediately. So again, we see some uh, 80th anniversary Iron Man parts, uh, most notably these hands and the fisted hands that he comes with. So he does come with fisted hands. He does come with the blast we've seen with two other Iron Man in this wave. All right, just admiring this dude up close again. Look at that. Slits in that mask look fantastic. Again, the candy apple red arc there in his chest. God darn it, man. This is so good. Uh, Iron Man I've been waiting for. So again, hopefully he gets re-released with the yellow, but for now, this will do. Um, Toy Biz did take a stab at this. It's scrawny and skinny and horrific. I don't even want to bring it out. Uh, I have it somewhere. I think War Machine also had a similar armor, but I mean, I think this Iron Man and the War Machine we got, the deluxe one, are the two that uh, are should be paired together. Those were 90s Iron Man. The only thing we're missing here is a mullet wearing Tony Stark. Uh, so we can pop this off with the new head. Oh no, it doesn't fit. Are you serious? Let me try this. And here we go. That took some struggles. Uh, it's definitely a lollipop head. Looks ridiculous. But you know, if he had a mullet, it would look fantastic. I'm losing light. All right, sorry about the lighting situation. My lights died. I don't understand. They were charged all day, but a couple lights died. So we're using house lights. Uh, did I talk about the fisted hands and the blast? I did. Uh, maybe I didn't. I don't know. But this looks good. Let's get the helmeted head back on. And admire his articulation. So if you have the 80th Iron Man, you know this is on a ball. Hinge. Arms do go out to here. Do get a bicep cut. You do get um, double jointed elbows. And you do get... These are hinged, actually. Holy cow, these are new hands. So I'm glad I did a close-up, closer look at this because bringing out the 80th Iron Man. These are fixed hands. So uh, they went ahead and they approved it. Look at the fingers, too. They're definitely sculpted differently. However, the position's kind of the same. So the mistake's easy to make. 
But it's nice to see that this Iron Man, also pinless, has hands that aren't hinged. But they do look weird rested like that. You definitely want them blasted out. Nice ab crunch, nice back. Help with your flying poses. Looking good. Waist cut. Forward out to here, not bad. Not too much back. Crazy amount of out. Thigh cut, oops, thigh cut. Double jointed knees, and again, pinless joints are everywhere. And a boot cut, which is fantastic, look at that. Some forward. Oh man, mine isn't giving too much back. How about this one? There we go. I don't know what's up with the other one. I'm gonna have to heat that up. But this figure is fantastic. Looking good, dude. Boom. Boom. And if the heights are the same, I love that the scale and the consistency is there. Uh, man, they need to come out with the Hall of Armor, HasLab Hall of Armor or something. Because that Toy Box one is totally toy looking. But man, this is good. All right, let's build a bear, shall we? Let's get these out of the way. This there. So I don't usually do this on camera, but what the hell? So you can see pegs, holes, and they connect. There is a slot here for this extra fur because this isn't good enough. So, and then a peg on the back. You can see that. Let's see this after. Get some legs on. All right, back to this peg. These are these are tight, man. So let me do this off camera real quick. Big bear. Easy. That was much easier than the freaking legs. Boom. It's nice and more grizzly like. And then the head, which if you wanted, you can mount on a wall or you can build your figure. We're, that looks wrong, but whatever. And there we go, Ursa Major, man. I am not disappointed with this at all. Huge, dude. Fantastic. So this completes the Winter Guard, which is awesome. This looks good. Let's get a close-up. Look at that head sculpt. Oh, I got some weird line. His white eyes. Nice yelling head. I don't know if I would have wanted a hinge jaw. Usually you'd like something a little more neutral, but this yelling head works as well. Nice little bear ear. So you could get your twisty there. Out to there, bicep, single jointed elbow, bear paw is on a vertical hinge. Ridiculous tilt on this dude. This is nuts. Big gap, but man, that's good. And there's a train. Here's a forward, here's a back, here's an out. Thigh cut is, uh, th these were tight. These were the most difficult parts to put on. Uh, not seamless like the arms there, but wonder why they did that. Why, why does this have a peg? What is this going to be used for? I think this is all new. And this forward, back. And you still get your rocker. Dude. Dude. This is one of my favorite backs. Hands down. This is so good. Let's get the winter guard out here. So depending on your preferred roster, this is 18 completed though. This looks fantastic. Again, I would think we would... Uh, uh, maybe a different Red Guardian, you know, with the blue. I mean, I know he's Red Guardian, but there is a blue outfit with a different shield. But this looks nuts. This looks awesome. Two Builder figures on this team. So again, he was in the Black Widow Wave, which released at the beginning of the pandemic of 2020. Uh, and I was hoping that would have been the Ursa Major Builder figure, but here he is in an unofficial Iron Man Wave in 2021. Red Guardian is from... 
I want to say movie Ant-Man, I believe, the, the big 11, 10 inch figure. And of course, Dark Star in the same wave as the Ursa Major build a figure. Amazing, amazing freaking wave. All right, that is it for me for real this time. Look at those abs, man. The sculpt work on this is nuts. So good. Bare butt, everything about this figure is fantastic. Holy shit. So good. Painted claws. Yeah, that is it for me, but I can't stop. I'm going to play with this figure a lot. So good. Pick up the whole damn wave. Uh, I'm, I'm sure Dorkside had, you know, they like to sell build -a figures complete. I'm sure that sold out. So you missed your opportunity. So you got to buy the wave, sell the ones you don't want, but build this bear. Uh, I think this is one of the best build -a figures of this year. And, you know, like, I mean, last year I had some great build -a figures, Sugar Man, all that stuff. But this dude is it for me. So thank you again. Please check out my other videos, uh, past and future. So I got some new stuff coming out. And uh, please like, comment, subscribe, notification bell, turn on notifications. There's a bunch of you, but a bunch of you ain't watching. And I would appreciate it if you did. Smash that like, smash that dislike, interact, talk to me, hit the comments. See ya.